6T 75E uh, had only first and second and it went to neutral, had no reverse. And very common issue is that the spread, the, the wavy breaks. And actually what I found is that the snap ring that goes into this drum was popped out. These are the three, five and reverse frictions. And uh, this is where the wavy goes right here. That's the wavy that breaks. And uh, this go assemble into this drum like that. And, and then your uh, sun shell goes on top of that. So uh, once I disassembled it, I mean, I found the snap ring was just sitting there and uh, the clutches were just sitting inside that sun shell. So uh, not being able to compress the 3.5 in reverse frictions, uh, you have no third uh, and you have no reverse. Uh, and I mean, you can see the top of the filter. This is the fluid pump. You can see the top of the filter, how much metal you got on it. And uh, here you see all that metal as well from that wavy plate. You can see there all that metal. So this is uh, completely disassembled. Uh, this is our my four, five, six frictions that go inside this this drum, and the three, five reverse goes on the outside. Uh, one through four uh, frictions they go underneath the low reverse sprag, and then you have your two six frictions and your uh, and your low reverse. Now here is the transmission control module for this particular unit. And we see that our pressure switches are in good shape. And I actually have both of them side by side. This is the one that has the failed uh, uh, pressure switches. Uh, let's walk over here. So I have both of them here together. And uh, this is from that other unit, the one that has the failed pressure switches that the piston uh, popped out. And you see here, this one's, these two pressure switches are, are damaged. And this looks like it's, uh, it's about to get damaged. And uh, on this other unit, I mean, we see that everything's fine here. There's some scratches on the on the end cover, but it's not fuzzy. I mean, this can be reused. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It's just where the wavy was just rubbing on the aluminum part. The snap ring is still in, in place. My piston is still on there. Both of my pistons are still here. So uh, nothing happened to that. It's just that snap ring that popped off caused no... Uh, no uh, third and no reverse and what I what I believe happened is that pieces of the snap ring uh, just got caught underneath pieces of the wavy plate got underneath the snap ring and popped it out but the drum it is damaged a little bit I mean if you see here where the wavy goes so this drum needs to be replaced anyways so there we have it uh, two 60 75e's one with a failed uh, transmission control module and the normal typical 3-5 uh, reverse uh, wavy plate that likes to break and this you will see it almost on every single unit that you get in I mean you will see uh, this wavy plate now let me bring the other drum over here from the other unit so if I've assembled already this uh, the 3-5 in reverse and here we see the wavy plate in place this is the wavy plate and to install this napper, you just press down with your fingers and just, uh, you know, walk it around. Then you have another snapper here on the reluctor. Uh, this I take it to my foot press and then just press it down there so it returns spring in here. And then I just pop that snapper out and disassemble the whole drum. Okay, so there we have it. The two 6T75Es, one with, with a failed uh, uh, pressure switch on the transmission control module. And the other one with excessive damage from the 3.5 uh, in reverse uh, wavy plate.